What's up everybody? Sparks Comics here again. This video is gonna be about that those two days I was telling you about I was spent digging at the LCS while I had no power here but my LCS had power so stick around for that. If you haven't already though please hit that subscribe button hit the little notification bell for if you want to be notified when videos come out and hit that like button uh, that really helps. I appreciate it a lot. Drop a comment and uh, let me know what you think of this at the end. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's dive into what I got. First up, though. Um, besides books, digging, I was looking for some good reading material. I loved the Magician series. Uh, so I picked up this uh, this trade paperback from Boom Studios for the Magician's new class. I believe it was Boom on, maybe Boom didn't do this one. Ar Arcadia did this one. Boom uh, did something else though with the Magicians. So that's why I thought this was Boom. But anyway, so this is uh, the Magician's new class. Um, haven't read it yet, looks really good, it's about a new class of students at Breakbills, and it's really looking into those hedge witches kind of coming into the world with the other witches. It's based off of the books, not the TV show, so if you love the books, love Blood Grossman's work, but didn't like where the TV show went and you wanted more to read? This is, uh, this is something to look out for. I believe Boom Studios might have the uh, Alice's story storyline. Um, or maybe Archaea's, Ar Archaea, A-R-C-H-A-I-A -A might be a part of Boom. Not sure, not sure exactly there, but magicians love those stories. It's like, like they described as the adult Harry Potter, the darker one. Uh, darker and, and more adult themed Harry Potter so had to read this so I'm gonna give this a read here in the next couple days maybe I'll drop a review on it so let's get into the books the single issues that I picked up I've got anti-venom new ways to live number two and number three uh, gonna look for number one still but trying to pick up some of these old uh, symbiote books that I missed out on in the past uh, that's usually my my collecting strategy is you know when I started collecting a lot of cool things that already happened in the comic world So I like going back and finding things that I don't have uh, I picked up this uh, Mighty Thor number one design variant by Dodderman. It was a 1 in 20 um, And this features Jane Foster on the cover as the cancer patient and so there's a strong probability, a pretty much guaranteed chance that they're going to use the Mighty Thor storyline in um, the upcoming Thor, um, is it Love, Thunder, and Lightning, or, or something like that. Um, but anyway, so this storyline's going to be part of that, and I really like these design variants, so I went and picked that up. Um, I've got more Scotty Young books later on, but I uh, just want to show these off here. The Unbelievable Gwenpool Scotty Young cover, and the Champions number one Scotty Young cover. So, and actually, I don't, this kind of looks like it might be similar, maybe it's slightly an homage to the Champions number one book. I could be wrong, but it has that, that vibe to it, um, like the original Champions. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I love all things Spidey, as you guys know. Um, so love the Web Warrior, Web Warriors. Um, you know, it's a team with uh, Spider-Man Noir, Spider Ham, Spider Gwen, Aranya. We got Spider-Man India, and Spider UK, Billy, Billy Braddock. Um, so this is uh, the first issue. Uh, the variant is by Trad Moore. So Trad Moore you may know from doing the art on Silver Surfer Black. And he's got a really cool art style, so got this one. Uh, here's a cool A-Force cover featuring a lot of the, the ladies of um, 
Marvel on it. So we've got She-Hulk front and center. We've got um, Singularity. We've got um, Captain Marvel, Medusa. We've got, um, I forget her name, but she's from The Runaways. And I think that's Dazzler there. Uh, and then we've got, you know, just floating heads of a lot of the other ladies in Marvel. Spider-Gwen, Storm, um, Jane Foster's Thor, we've got Squirrel Girl, Scarlet Witch, Miss Marvel. So lots of cool things going on on this cover. So that's why I picked that up. And it was half price. Uh, so, of course, got to get those deals when they show up. And so then we've got Miss Marvel number five and number six here. So this is from her first series, her first solo series. Um, this one, I believe, has a first appearance of, uh, I don't remember exactly, but something like the Tinkerer or something like that, um, which is a possibility that that character will show up in the MCU, but it's not as hyped or speculated as uh, Cameron and Red Dagger are, so still pretty uh, reasonable to pick up. This was a cool one, Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. This is the uh, comic book legal defense fund variant um, by Nolan. Uh, another half price book. And so this features the first appearance of the, I don't remember exactly their name, but they're a native, uh, native American woman who's also a, a ghost writer. And so let's, uh, oh, it's still, it's still polybagged, actually. Interesting. I haven't pulled it out yet. Um, but figured I'd pick that up. We're gonna see her show up in that Indigenous Peoples, um, book that's coming out soon. Uh, so I picked up on that one. I picked up that cover that features her. That's the, uh, Indigenous, um, art style. So, Doctor Strange and Sorcerer Supreme Memorable. And so along the line of Doctor Strange, we have Doctor Strange number one. This is the Rebelka 1 in 25 variant. So this was another half off deal and it was already pretty cheap. So this is the first appearance of Zelma. Uh, and I expect that we're gonna get Zelma showing up in the MCU at some point. It's a matter of time, especially if Doctor Strange sticks around for a little bit. I really like her character. What I could see them do, it, you know, since there's all this hype and speculation on Strange Academy coming into the MCU down the line, we make a great show. We bring Zelma in in a Doctor Strange movie, um, and then she helps found the Academy. And so I think that would be great, great way for them to bring her into the MCU. This one I picked up solely because this is awesome artwork by Amanda Connor. Uh, we have Secret Wars number one. This is the, the Woman of Marvel variant, which has got all of Peter Parker's woman on it. Um, so we've got Black Cat, we've got Gwen, we've got MJ. Really cool. Um, I mean, those are her, his, main, his main woman. Um, he's got some other, other people that he's been with over the years, but those are always his, you know, when you think of Peter Parker, his ladies that have been a big influence in his life. Um, and then, so these two are just solely um, cool covers, and they're Hawkeye. So we've got Hawk, all new Hawkeye number one. This is the Sal variant, one in 25, half off. And this is um, all new Hawkeye number two, the Wada variant number, uh, the one in 25. This was half off. But they're both already pretty reduced prices. I like them, especially this one. Um, you know, if we're gonna see Kate Bishop and, um, you know, if we're gonna see Kate Bishop come into the MCU and then see the two of them meet and then her become Hawkeye, I think that's a, a cool, cool cover. And so the next couple are back to Scotty Young. We got the Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. Uh, love this, this little funny, funny little thing, you know, oh, well, says it fits all, why isn't it fitting you, man thing? Come on. Uh, Captain America and the Mighty Avengers number one. So I believe this is, um, this should be when uh, we see Sam Wilson um, really being uh, 
Captain America. And of course, you know, you're looking at the flyers on the team, we've got two. And everyone else is not able to fly, so not a good good team uh, makeup there. And then A Force number one uh, from Secret Wars, so this is the first appearance of Singularity. And then all new Captain America number one. I think that's a cool cover for just seeing the design of uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America. And I love Scotty Young. I there's a whole box of Scotty Young variants, and I had to <laughs> I had to restrict myself to those. Um, but speaking of Scotty Young, I found uh, Middle West number one Huddleston cover first print. Uh, which is the cover A. So I've been interested in looking at this series. It's only, I think, 18 issues uh, recently ended. So I'm gonna give this a read and see about if I wanna try to find the rest of it. Um, but I've heard good things. Uh, I think this would be a cool one to get Scotty Young to sign and uh, get it slabbed. Uh, but we've got Scotty Young as the writer, Jorge Corona as uh, art, so pretty cool find there. And it was only, you know, a few dollars over cover price. And same with this one, we got Redneck number one, first print, uh, this is the Donny Kate series. I've heard good things, haven't read it, but I like Donny Kate's writing, so I figured give this one a shot. Uh, on that indie kick here, we've got four kids walk into a bank, number one, um, from Black Mask. And so, yeah, Black Mask did this book, and then they did that other series, Black, which is being um, speculated on, you know, possible movie or TV show rumors. Um, but I haven't really seen anything from Black Mask since then, so hopefully they, you know, get some new stuff out soon. Because uh, I really like indie publishers um, getting that, you know, that spotlight that we don't otherwise see. So then we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 7. This is the Polito 1 in 25 variant. This was a half price book and that's uh, the first appearance of Spider-UK, Billy Braddock. And we've got a cool cover with Ms. Marvel because there's a team up in this issue. So speaking of Miss Marvel, we have Shield number two, the Ramos one in twenty-five variant, and so this is an early Miss Marvel appearance and an early villain for Miss Marvel. Um, this takes place at her school, so not saying that there's any speculation specifically on this character that she's fighting here, but it seems very possible that we could see something, even as a minor villain or something pop up and someone for, for her to fight. Moving on, we gotta go back to the man Spidey with Amazing Spider-Man 365. And this, of course, you know, is the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. It is a preview appearance because this really just, it previews what happens in Spider-Man 2099 number one. So there's definitely a controversy if this is his first appearance or if that happens in that book. But either way, I pick these up when I find them, so great book. Then we've got Star Wars Darth Vader Doctor, Doctor Aphra Halloween Comic Fest. So this reprints Darth Vader number three, which is Doctor Aphra's first appearance. Um, and we get that cover art again, so really cool. And I've got, um, I was surprised to find this at my store because it's a Midtown Comics exclusive, but uh, the Champions number one J. Scott Campbell cover. So, pretty cool cover here. Uh, actually might have a little bit of like a, a Breakfast Club vibe. Um, but yeah, awesome cover, Midtown exclusive Campbell cover. Champions, I love that team. Um, I really wish there was more Champions content out there. Uh, Miles is great. Kamala uh, Khan is great. Nova is great. Um, Viv Vision, Hulk, and then Braun, Amadeus Cho. 
Um, you know, the one I'm not the biggest fan of is the young Cyclops, but uh, I think it, what's cool in his story is when he later uh, goes back to his time and you see the old Cyclops really actually like remembers all that time he spent with the Champions. Um, so then I've got Howard the Duck number one. This is um, the Quinones, uh variant. I believe this is um, like a 1 in 10 or 1 in 15 or something like that. But this is Gwenpool's first appearance, so I had to pick this up. I think it was a might have been a half price uh, pickup. And then I have wanted this one for a long time. I love Scotty Young. I love Spider Man. Really like Deadpool. So here it is Spider Man 611, the Scotty Young cover featuring Spider Man and Deadpool in all its beautiful glory. Um, I love it. Uh, super excited to have that one. And staying on that Spider-Man kind of line is uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 33, which uh, is our first appearance of Venom in the Ultimate Universe. And we know something's going on with uh, that symbiote and the Maker in the Venom storyline, so happy to find that too, because I haven't really found things like this in the wild before. My, my store really let me go and look in these bins that they don't really have as easily accessible. Um, so I was having a great time. Uh, I was just hanging out with them and uh, charging up my phone and really digging through the bins. So then I've got here Avengers number zero. This is the monster variant. It is a one in 10. And this is the first time that Deadpool gets his Avengers card. And so 1 in 10, you know, is probably a little bit more common than this next one I'm going to show. Um, but really cool cover. Cool things going on there. So I had to pick it up. It was half price. And this one is the one that I think is the bigger one to look out for for that type of speculation. This is Avengers number zero. This is the wraparound variant. Um, and it's one of my favorite artists, or uh, becoming one of my favorite artists, because of his work on uh, Strange Academy. Art Adams, um, who did this cover. And what's really cool besides that Deadpool speculation with knowing that he's coming into the MCU, is that Miles is featured heavily right here, and then you got Miss Marvel right there. So uh, I really think um, this is a good one to find if you can get it for a good price. And so speaking of Miles and speaking of Miss Marvel, we got all new, all different Avengers. Number one, um, this is the Vet Vecino 1 in 20 variant, half price. Um, so we see, I think in this one, Nova, Miles, and Miss uh, Miss Marvel team up and they start to join up with some of the other team, but the official team appearance isn't until issue number three, actually. Um, but either way, this team is something that could be likely in the MCU. Of course, minus Iron Man, but if we get Ironheart instead, that would be cool. Or if we have someone else uh, taking over that, that uh, Iron Man role, that would be cool too. Uh, but I, I think within 10 years, we're going to see, um, we're going to see Miles, we're going to see, I think we're going to see Sam Alexander Nova because they're moving for those younger heroes right now at the MCU. I think we're going to see Sam Alexander really take over the full, Sam Alexander, uh, Sam Wilson fully take over the role as Captain America and we're going to see that kind of thing happen. And... Though we're going to see the cancer line storyline with uh, Jane Foster Thor in that next Thor movie, I really think there's a chance that she's going to stick around and we're really going to see uh, that Thor come into the universe. Uh, I hope so. I hope they give her at least like one or two of her own movies and some time teaming up. So, I don't know. 
It probably is not gonna happen. It's kind of my dreams that that'll happen, but uh, either way, I like that cover anyways. Um, and so speaking of the all new, all different Avengers, we have issue two, the Jimenez variant, which is one in 25. Again, another half price book. How could I pick up such a cool cover by Jimenez? And then this one, I think this is the third copy of this that I'll have now. Devil Dinosaur number one. How can you say no to Devil Dinosaur? Um, you know, not a perfect copy, but a decent copy, you know, mid-grade. Um, and, you know, also, you know, first Moon Boy, but we really care about Moon Girl. So, um, Devil Dinosaur's first appearance though, and it's a newsstand, can't pass that up. And this one was like, Super cheap, uh, you know, not the best condition. There's something going on on the cover, but overall not terrible. First Spider Ham. How can I? How can I pass up my buddy Spider Ham? Didn't have his first appearance. I'm pretty stoked to just pop across this for relatively cheap price. And then um, I showed off all new Captain America before, but here he is again. Issue 1, the Pacelli 1 in 25 variant, another half off book, and it already was like, it was already 8 bucks, so this was 4 bucks for this cool Pacelli cover, um, pretty decent condition, can't say no to that, right? Um, and then, so we know what's uh, coming to the MCU is King, and what better cover of King to have than one that features all of his appearances, all of his different forms, or maybe maybe not all of them, but most of them. Uh, maybe he's got some more in there that I've forgotten about, but super great cover and a cool storyline where uh, Vision really actually started these issues with King that they have during this storyline. And so King's kind of just trying to get back at him. Um, of course, Alex Ross art, always great. Uh, how can you not like his, his art on, on these things? Um, and then this was an interesting one to come across. Avengers 675, second printing, which I believe this is Voyager's first appearance. And then he's on the cover here. So, um, in the second appearance, or second print. So, I, I think Voyager's a cool character. I'd love to see more of her in comics. I don't think she's MCU ready, um, but I'd love to see more of her in the comics. And then, I love Miss Marvel. I love Stephanie Hans. Miss Marvel, 31. Stephanie Hans variant um, with that, you know, the bubble gum. Uh, I love this cover. I didn't have it, and now I do, so. Um, that's what's great about having so much time to just sit there and dig. Normally I get maybe uh, 20 minutes of digging after I've spent 10 minutes of looking at the new books for the week. So I found some things that I wouldn't normally find in my dig. Uh, Gwenpool number zero, second print. So this is interesting. So Spider Gwen right now, um, the Spider-Gwen number zero second print is skyrocketing. It's very hard to find. So my brain said, why would this be any easier to find? She happened around the same time, a little bit later, you know, riding a little bit off the success of the fact that, well, one Gwen character, uh, Gwen Eyes character, um, popped off and did really well. Why, why would not another? But uh, Gwenpool's an interesting character. It would be interesting to see Gwenpool and Deadpool interact more. Um, but yeah, so if anything really ever pops off with, with Gwenpool, I think this number zero, which is the retelling or the collection of her kind of full first appearance um, story into one book. And so the second print's gonna be harder to find. And really, I mean, it's the same cover, but she's got this you know, text bubble talking about second printing. And then Dazzler number one. This was a cheap book. 
And, you know, it's not the best copy, but, you know, for the price, can't, can't pass that up. And then, uh, you know, something just to fill in part of my Spidey collection, ASM 282 newsstand, uh, couldn't pass that up either. So that was my two-day comic digging haul. Uh, lots of books in there. Uh, lots of cool things that I found. And so please let me know in the comments if you liked any of those books, if you would have been all, you know, all on top of grabbing those books as well as you were hunting. Um, let me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about on the channel that I haven't talked about. Um, or any content that I've done but you want to see more of, please let me know in the comments. Um, hit that like button on your way out, and if you aren't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button that lets you know when I'm posting more videos. And uh, as a reminder from my last video, I'm a part of the Spine Ticks now. We go live on Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, or 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern time talk about comics. I'm um, going to start doing a little mini segment on uh, my final order cutoff pick. We do mail calls, we do um, recent pickups, and then we just kind of hang out with the community and just kind of talk about whatever uh, whatever's happening. Um, you know, so many different crazy topics come up, but it's a really fun time. So if you haven't already gone and subscribed to the Spine Ticks channel, go ahead and do that right now. Um, I'll drop the link in the description of this video. Um, and, you know guys, thank you for watching and supporting. We just hit over 150 subscribers on this channel. Um, the Spine Ticks hit 250 recently, so this Saturday there's going to be a giveaway on the Spine Ticks channel, so please, please, please go over there and subscribe and hang out with us on Saturday. Thank you for watching. Always remember, collect what you love. See you guys next time.